Is your Nakamichi cassette deck stopping abruptly during playback? And when you look at the tape, you can kind of see it all bunched up, but it hasn't completely eaten the tape. And maybe you've tried cleaning it a hundred times and it still keeps stopping abruptly. Well, there's good news. It might just be the back tension belt that needs to be replaced. And even better news, you don't have to take the whole unit apart to access that belt. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to easily replace that belt. Let's jump right into it. First things first, just pop eject, get this cassette door open, and then this cover, just if you pull up on it gently, it pops right off. Now, you will see these two screws up here. I have gone ahead and removed those, but you will just need to simply remove them yourself, and then lift this face place, face plate, excuse me, and pull it out of there, and now we can see this belt, which is pretty loose. So I'm gonna remove that belt and replace it with a new one. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Now you can see here I've got the new belt on this side of the pulley over here. There's a little metal arm here. You want the belt to go underneath that arm and around this pulley here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but off camera because I just can't really do it and hold the camera at the same time. So I'll do that and then show you what it looks like. Okay, well that's it. Pretty easy and simple. Got this here, and that seems to be turning much better than that old worn out belt. A lot of people think you need, in order to change that belt, you need to take the whole thing apart. I wanted to make this quick video just to show you can access this right from the front. Now all you gotta do is just put everything back together like we took it apart, put the face plate back in, the screws, and the drawer, and you should be good to go. Well, I promised this would be quick and easy, and hopefully it was. With this belt replaced, hopefully the unit will no longer stop abruptly and bunch that tape up. After replacing this belt, you should still uh, clean all the normal area, playback areas that you would when using a cassette deck, and then hopefully everything will work fine going forward. If you'd like to know where I bought this belt, I will put a link in the description below. It's where I usually buy my Nakamichi belts, and I haven't had any issue with them so far. Now this unit is a Nakamichi BX300 cassette deck. Three heads, I didn't even know it existed until I bought it a couple months ago, broken as is on eBay. If you'd like to learn all about this unit and my story operating it, you could do so by watching this video here.